नमस्कार मैं संजय चतुर्वेदी जय श्री कृष्णा इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन नाड़ी शोधन वॉट इज नाड़ी शोधन एंड वाई इट इज रिलेटेड टू प्राणायाम आई टेल यू नाड़ी शोधन इज एक्चुअली अ प्रोसेस बाय विच यू प्योरिफाई योर नर्वस सिस्टम रेड योर वेन्स इन नाड़ी शोधन द हट योग प्रदीप्त का हैव डिफाइंड थ्री टाइप ऑफ नाड़ी वन इज सुषमा वन इज इदा एंड वन इज पिंगला आई टेल यू दैट वाई दीज आर एपिसोड एपिसेंटर ऑफ नाड़ी I'll tell you when while we do the nadi shodhan today, the process of nadi shodhan. Uh, I'll tell you why these nadis are so very important. What is nadi shodhan? Nadi shodhan is where ah uh, before the pranayam, you are purifying the entire your nerve system, and uh, we call it mal. we say excreta or some type of uh, blockage in the nadi where a flow of pran vayu for which the we are doing the pranayam the pran vayu should be uh, reaching to every part of your body and organ and nadi shodhan is you are purifying the path or you are clearing the nadi so that the pran vayu can you know flow to the entire body and when you do a pranayam the maximum advantage you must get before uh, uh, after doing the pranayam nadi shodhan pranayam is uh, one of the uh, concept uh, defined uh, in uh, yog chudamani upanishad in uh, verse 98 in yog chudamani upanishad verse 98 the process of nadi shodhan is uh, defined now coming back on these three nadis which i was telling one is the pingla and one is the ida other than sushma now when you do a rechak and purak a purak when you inhale a rechak when you exhale now in nadi shodhan the uh, basic idea is that the flow of your entire respiratory system and the flow of the entire energy should go to the entire nerve system is where you want to start with the uh, the pranayam before the pranayam the nadi shodhan now in uh, yog chuda sama upanishad the nadi shodhan is already defined what the upanishad says that uh, in hatha yoga pradiptika also in hatha yoga pradiptika these three nadis have been uh, defined now in uh, uh, process that how we do a nadi shodhan we start with nadi shodhan now in nadi shodhan when you sit on a comfortable asan maybe a padmasan sukhasan there are many other asans but the best being and preferred by yogis are uh, the padmasan mind you people those who are having ailments heart ailment or high blood pressure uh, should not do without any instructor and uh, people above the age of 60 and people below the age of 10 must do pranayam with absolutely under the guidance of some instructor now the nadi shodhan is how we do it when you sit on a comfortable asan 
and you have gone to your loo you uh, you know uh, empty your bladder and stomach you are absolutely calm composed and concentrating on your body and sitting on a very composite and uh, consolidated uh, gesture and when you start the nadi shodhan very easy it is when you have a purak when you have inhaling the breath and feeling there is a moon inside your stomach nabhi we call it and in see this is a mool dhan you have this is a when you are having a when you are having a purak when the purak along with the feeling of a moon and its moon light is actually cooling your organs and cooling your um, uh, lungs is what the uh, 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 process in which you feel the moon within your uh, stomach and when you release with this is the ring finger and when you release from your right nostril and then this is one cycle of the uh, uh, pranayam and when you repeat now you know you inhale that is your pura and mind you there is no kumbhak you don't have to withhold the uh, breath you immediately release it and when you release it when you uh, inhaling from the surya chakra then you feel that there is a sun within my body and within my stomach and nabhi and the sun is actually you know uh, giving you the energy and the source and flowing within your body now in one of the pranayam that is nadi uh, spandan anukaran pranayam where you actually follow your pulses and you are aligning your breath your pura can rechak and kumbha along with your nerves is that particular pranayam i am going to speak on on that particular pranayam in in nadi shodhan we also have a shandalya upanishad in shandalya upanishad uh, chapter 6 verse 1 and 2 they have also included kumbhak also so when you are inhaling you are exhaling now see nadi shodhan is still not complete after you you feel a sun inside and then the third stage of nadi shodhan is then you inhale with both the nostrils pura and exhale from your mouth the rechak is and is this particular cycle of sun moon and the entire uh breath is going out and this see it is calm down of your lungs your body your organs your mental your thoughts and this is why it is called nadi shodhan you feel that your blood is flowing the entire body so you are reaching to your entire body your all the nerve system is open and now you are ready to do a pranayam where the pran vayu will flow to every part of your body now i have told you the pranayam which is your nadi shodhan uh, spandan avlokan is uh, anukaran pranayam where you actually see it is like this when you are inhaling the breath your breath should be 5% of the 100% slower that means if you are breathing like this you have to breathe a slower Five, just after 100% you reduce to your speed to 5% and and you release now within this particular pranayam you are following the pulse the count of your pulse for a minute should be equal to the count of your purak rechak and kumbhak count and all purak rechak and kumbhak counts are equal say maybe 8 or 10 or 12 uh, matras so when you are doing purak kumbhak and rechak and aligning the entire uh, uh, your pranayam to the rhythm of your heart or the pulse is called the 
नाडी स्पंदन अनुकरण प्राणायाम नाउ दिस टाइप ऑफ टू प्राणायाम आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हेन यू आर काम डाउन सी दे आर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ प्राणायाम इन प्राणायाम आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन द मोर देन 50 टाइप्स ऑफ प्राणायाम व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डू एंड अंडरस्टैंड द our episode is not actually giving you the instructions that how you do it it is basically the understanding and knowledge on what the pranayam is i have also written a book on the pranayam which you can have it on amazon or subtikala book section a uh, various type of pranayam do's and don'ts of pranayam and reference to all such type of pranayam to my previous episode if you go and see there are more than 50 types of pranayam which we are going to come uh, understand and do such type of pranayam in coming episodes and if you have anything you can always write to me or put a comment uh, in the in the comment sections so that we can incorporate more uh, elaborate uh, expression on pranayam jai shri krishna